And welcome back, folks. Welcome to the ninth video of our Ludum Dare Game Marathon. We are playing Internet of Things, which is a little hacking game that caught my eye. That caught my eye, and we are going to play it. Earth Day to-do list: Search IoT for hosts. Create botnet. DDoS. Uh, Whitehouse.gov. Replace. CEQ page with global warming warning. Okay. Um, so we need to create a botnet um, by hacking some light bulbs. So we need to find some hosts. Oh, we already have. Um, we already have a list of hosts. Um, source code, okay. Some starter code, How, maybe this will work. Result host of password. We need to authenticate ourselves to these light bulbs. Um, and apparently we have the, well, for some reason we have access to the source code. Um, even though we can't edit it. So the first thing we need to do is to get past this authentication. So let's see how this um, authenticates. Uh, so that's very quite easy. The first host just checks um, the password, whether it's open sesame. So we want to change that to open, oops, open sesame. Success. Authentication passed, host added to botnet, source editing, editing enabled, extra functions unlocked. Okay, um, let me take a sip of my coffee. So, so that was quite easy. Um, so now, um, Okay, I guess we just move on to the next host and just yeah, get authenticate to them in order. Um, so the next one, in order to authenticate, uh, we need to pass two tests. So first it tests some variable called host setup. Um, Can we, oh, we also can scroll through these, through the source code. Um, doesn't matter, probably. Okay, um, so host.setup is a global variable that is um, well, we don't know what, which in which state it is. Okay, assuming that we've passed this test, then I assume this means um, string concatenation. I mean, yeah, concatenation. So, so the password has to be, um, oops, this, then the third one, oh, that's super. Then the first one is secure, then pass meow. Um, you know, and exclamation mark. Okay. So this should, well, maybe it works, maybe it does not. Um, so let's make sure this is correct. Exclamation mark. Oh, wait. Um, well, I assume, yeah, it, it, this must be string concatenate. So the dot dot. It's probably the string concatenation operator in this fictitious programming language. Maybe there, maybe there is a program, programming language in which this is actually the string concatenation operator, but I don't actually, I don't don't know any um, programming language in which this would be the case. Anyway, 
So super secure. Um, super secure pass meow. Now this should be correct. Um, ah, okay. So it, um, let's try this again. Oh, we have been caught by the FBI for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know whether th there's a time limit. Um, but apparently we've been busted by the um, FBI. I don't know how you would actually reset the game. And there is no sound for some reason. Um, yeah, in, in case you're wondering, this game has no sound. Um, okay, apparently it also lacks any help, which is a bit of a shame. Um, Also, I can't go into the main menu, but at least not with with ask. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, right. Let me just quickly check the well the website. I mean the website for this game. Ah, yeah. So there, um, you're set on a time limit, and yeah, it misses audio. The help tab and host interactivity after authentication. So, hmm. Um. I guess, yeah. Yeah, that was Internet Internet of Things. Um, okay, let's, let's actually check how this could have been hacked. So, um, you need to get this into And you need to get this global variable to the right state, and this. Um, hmm. It's not cl clear how this would be achieved. Um, hmm. Anyway, so that's that was Internet of Things. Um, I could see this as an interesting hacking hacking game if it would would actually be complete. Um, anyway, yeah, I hope you liked this video. I will put a link to this game in the description. And yeah, until next time, folks. Until then.